All right, hope everybody's having an excellent Saturday. I just uh, met some of my friends at the record sale and picked up uh, 10 records because I just didn't need to bring home a lot. There was a lot of stuff that I had kind of I'm not sure about, but this is not for that. This is for the COMC or COMC order. I ordered everything under the sun and I have labeled all the prices on each one of them. I'm sorry you won't be able to see the condition of each one of them. They're all in plastic sleeves or top loaders, but we'll do the best that I can. Hopefully this will show up well. This is not in any particular order. So the first one I have here is a Boardwalk and Baseball 36 cents Don Mattingly. So that is really cool to have that one there. Um, that's circa 1988 or 89. I'm not really sure the date on that. I'll give you any data if I can find them. We got a lot, a lot, a lot to go through. So I picked up a lot of vintage, a lot of replacement cards. I'll take this one out of the sleeve just to show you, give you an idea. This is a 1960 one tops Johnny Temple and there is that one in very good condition I just need a better background here to show you but anyway there's that one that was 63 cents for that one then I got a 57 Chuck Stobbs and I picked up a lot of 57's you just don't know from the pictures you know how creased they are um, I would be able to show you what kind of crease there is let me change the light here I suppose hopefully that will work better that works a little bit better. So there's the crease of Chuck Stobbs. That was a dollar for that one. Then we picked up this Jay Apt. He's an astronaut, Gaudi memorabilia. And this was exactly one dollar for that card there. So that's cool to pick that. I had the base card of that one. This was one of the last cards I purchased because I was running out of things to do. This is a BBM um, from Japan. This is a Yuka Nakamura a wrestling card there. Shout out to uh, X Invictus S or whatever his name, X, uh, 90 cents for that card there. We have another Don Mattingly for the Matty Collection. This is, I think, 34 cents here for the Sport Flicks. Some sort of Sport Flicksy type card there, 1995. I can't believe I didn't have that one. I'll show you the backs if I, if I can on some of them. This one was... I can't believe this was 99 cents, but I guess it's 99 cents Phil Payne. So there's a Phil Payne in pretty good condition. I checked most of the backs in case there was any back damage here. So there is Phil Payne. A little spot on it, but it looks like it's coming off there. So there is Phil Payne. I don't know exactly where to uh, frame these cards here. Uh, Sal McGlee, 75 cents. And there's going to be a theme. A lot of cards were 75 cents. This one has a huge wax stain all over it. You won't be able to see. There's a wax stain. That'll clean off and become a much better card. Sal McLee, 59. Ed Medor, because somebody said he was a good TTMer. 78 cents for that one. Here his Chuck, I'm sorry, Tom Paholski. I didn't realize the creases in it. They're quite massive creases right there on this. But he, again, he was 75 cents. It's really hard to find 57 tops under a dollar. Cal McLish for 46 cents. So 61 or 60 Cal McLish. This Sal McGlee was 75 cents, a 54 uh, Bowman, I believe. 54 Bowman really creased and beat up, but Sal, or sorry, sorry Sal McGlee. Sal, Sam Mealy, Sam Meal, Mealy, Mele, he was a, a, a manager later on. This was 75 cents for the 54 Bowman. These prices are a lot better than when I was a kid. I'd be paying double or triple for ruined condition cards. Whammy Douglas. Whammy. Whammy. Shout out to Four Leaf. 85 cents for Whammy. Then I have a Doug. I'm sorry. Uh, Dwight McPhee as commander of X-Files Paranormal uh, set. And this is $1.20 for Dwight McPhee. Then we have Brent State. And Brent State is a dollar twenty-five. I did not have either one of those, so that was cool. For ninety-nine cents, we got a really pretty clean Eddie Robinson. Lots of wax stain on it, but that saved me a bit. So Eddie Robinson, fifty-seven tops, fifty-seven tops. Preston Ward, seventy-five cents. I bought a lot of these from the same exact seller, seventy-five cents. Then we have uh, Dell Ennis, fifty-seven tops, seventy-five cents. Eddie Yost, seventy-five cents. 59 tops. Ray Crone is a upgrade because he had um, 
his eyes poked out and crosses on the card and stuff. This was 77 cents, if or 70 odd cents. I can't read my handwriting because um, there was two sheets of paper and it kind of goofed up, but 70 odd cents for that Ray Crone there. Then we have Hal Smith, 70 cents for Hal Smith. I'll let you know if any of these were upgrades. Preston Gomez, 39 cents. I believe that was 39 cents for the 74 Preston Gomez. We have Hal Brown, 75 cents. 59 Valmy or sorry Frank Thomas the Frank Thomas 75 cents Don Mattingly somebody said these were rare these are the UK ones uh, Tops United Kingdom mini somebody said they were rare and it's like well how can rare they can be if Mattingly is only 39 cents thought I had that one but didn't this is an upgrade because most of mine look like they were missing corners and chewed up by a dog so 42 cents for the San Francisco Giants checklist then we have a Mattingly for 39 cents did not have that classic one. We have a Jim Palmer for a whopping 84, 85 cents from 1974. That one probably would have cost me two or three dollars back in the day uh, about the same condition. Um, not really sure how much that would have been, but it would have been up there because the uh, Hall of Famer. Don Mattingly, 40 cents, did not have that one. Julio Becker, Becker, Becker 75 cents. Not sure why I really went for that one, but you know, it was just again shopping for decent looking um, commons. Uh, this is cool. This is Ted Cassidy and William Shatner. Ted Cassidy was Lurch in the uh, Adams Family, I believe. And that was $1.25 for this 1976 Star Trek card, so that was really pretty cool. I'll show you the back here. Pretty neat. That's pretty cool. I'd like to get more of those, but they've really zoomed up in price. This is one of the cheaper ones for a buck twenty-five. Then we have Dean Haglund, and the reason why I bought this one, because that could be an autograph request, so 27 cents for that one. He had a lot more cards, but I just, you know, you're just getting at your wits end, you know, uh, when you're towards the end of the order. 47 cents for a Tom Seaver I may or may not have had. I don't think I had that one. I got this cool uh, OPG Dave Winfield for 75 cents. Isn't that crazy? Oh, yes, the Tom Seaver was 47 cents. Uh, then we got Jack Heideman. Jack Heideman was 49 cents, and he's actually a high number, so he's actually card number 644. I have almost zero of those for my set. Lou Pinello was 39 cents. I mean, these were all big names back in the 80s and 90s, 39 cents. Uh, that, that high number card might have cost me 4 or $5, according to Beckett. 75 cents, Lou Brock, 76 tops. Why not? I mean, heck. That's the one somebody was just talking about. The, I forget that was uh, who was in the background there. Not Manny Singh or Manny. Oh, I don't know who that was on the Pirates. I forgot. Um, and then we have uh, Johnny Temple. 64 cents for a 62. Can't beat that all day long with a stick. This has kind of a family name connection. Uh, this is a dollar five. Jordan Eberle. So I thought that was really pretty cool. Uh, upper day game jersey. Um, so that was cool. A dollar five for a Jordan Everly. There's the back of it. Congratulations! A whole bunch of stuff. And then we got Wally Moon. Wally Moon was a dollar thirty-three. It came in this large jumbo holder. A dollar thirty-three for a relatively decent conditioned Wally Moon. I wish I could show you the back. I, I guess got some um, toning. I think. Let's just take this out really quickly because I got a little bit of time here. Hopefully. See if we can get this Wally Moon out of here and show you what kind of condition for a dollar thirty-three. I mean, I try to grab centered condition cards as as much as I could, but that was not always. You know, sometimes you take creases versus centering, that sort of thing. Then we got a Reggie Jackson for forty-nine cents All Star. I did not care that it wasn't mint because I did not have that for my set. Seventy-nine set is not a very highly desired set. We have Dave Winfield seventy-eight seventy-five cents. Lots of Hall of Famers for nothing. Then this is a dollar fifty-seven, and this is Ogden's cigarettes, Auto Madden, and he was a jockey, I believe. There is the cool back of the card. This is from nineteen o six or nine. It was nineteen o six Ogden's. There's the back of the card, and there is the front of the card, Auto Madden. So that's really pretty cool. Racing colors or something like that. It really, really pops when it's out of the holder, the sleeve there. And we got Ron Santo, 74 for 63 cents. Did not have that one. Again, these cards would have been incredibly expensive 
If they were folded in half and stepped on, they might be in the 75 cent bin. But this is a crease free Robin Yout from 77 for 75 cents. Then we got a uh, dollar six. We got um, uh, what is it called? Uh, Spanning the globe, Wander Franco for a dollar six. So that's really cool. Then we have the Country Music Hall of Fame for 35 cents. That could be an autograph request. I'm not sure. Then we have this Fred Fox, 63 cents. Fred Fox is a jockey, and doesn't he look like? Uh, he looks a lot like um, uh, Vern. Uh, not Vern. He looks a lot like um. What is his name? Ernest. Ernest P. Worrell. He looks like a lot like Jim Varney in this picture here. Uh, it it just shows up really cool on it, there there with that smile there. Know what I mean? Okay, there we go. There's a Doctor Who. This was a dollar. This is a Cloister Bell with a Tom Baker right there. And this is from 1996. It's a game card. That's been on ComC for years, and I finally picked one up. Then we have Chet Nichols. This was 75 cents. The holder alone is 75 cents for that one. They are not staying in those holders. I don't, don't kid yourself. They're not staying in those holders. And then we have Granny Hamner, or Granville Hamner. And this was 79 cents for the 50 not, 55 Bowman, I believe it is, a TV set. Dick Gray, 75 cents, and that was one of my later purchases. He was one of those that was a replacement. Here is a John Shave and Gene Woodling. One was 49 cents and one was 55 cents. 61 tops there. Then we have a checklist. This was only 47 cents. I am not joking. Checklist from 1961 for 40 seven cents i didn't realize there was a crease there but there is no writing on it that's absolutely insane there's a crease there but no writing that is a replacement that is a sick replacement amazing then we have 45 cents here this was curtis Schilling, uh number to 150 for the moments and milestone set one to 150. then we have kurt Schilling again um number to tw 29 of 29 ebay 101 that was 94 cents then we have a Gene Woodling. I have this card, but it's the regular card, not the green tint. Awesome condition for only a whopping 54 cents. That would have been two bucks when I was a kid, easily. This one was 75 cents as some sort of Mesozoic era dinosaur, but that's going to be an uh, autograph request off to a paleontologist I found on uh, Star Tiger. This one was 82 cents. Dynamite Sabrina for my Charlie's Angels set. Here is uh, Ron Shusett. He is a writer, executive producer for um, Alien, I believe. He looks like a lot like the auction professor on YouTube. Um, and um, he was $1.89 for that one, for the Alien uh, uh, trading card set. That is really cool. I can't believe it's that cheap. Then we have this one, Luke on Sand Planet for $0.41. Cents. One of the best condition Star Wars cards you can get for $0.41. Cents. And I already have a better condition one card, so that is not a replacement, unfortunately. Wixos, I'm not sure what it is, but for my Japanese card collection, 75 cents. Take that all day long. That's set on ComC forever. There is the back of it, Wixos promo card. We have Mo Drabowski, 75 cents, 57 tops. A little creasing there, but these are all really good condition cards in my eyes. Angelic Jill off center, but all the rest of them were that same off center. And this was a dollar thirteen. Needed that one. That's half of what they usually cost. This is one of the dinkier cards that I bought. This is a Ferris Fane. I am not joking. Ferris Fane on the A's. A Ferris Fane original Shibe Park seat. That is a majorly cool card here. This was a dollar and eighty cents for a Topps Authentic Shibe Park seat card. I didn't realize those cards were so dinky. Really cool. Then we have this guy, um, Cyril Abitool, Abbott Bell, uh, 75 cents for the uh, F1 set there. Danny Murtaugh, 1963, I'm sorry, 64 top, 56 uh, cents there. We've got Brad Brown. Did not realize I already had that one, but paid a buck for it. He's that guy that helped out people in the fires of California. This one is Jim Rampy, I think, Ramp or Rampy. Um, all of those were damaged corner ones from the exact same set. He was a dollar. I think I found his um, address on Star Tiger to send out to that billiards player. And the last card we have here is a Reed Perry, number 399, for Panini Country Music set. And it's 
the musicians materials or whatever really really cool and this card was a dollar amazing the amazing amazing stuff on com c i'm at 15 minutes i'm really zapped it's time to have lunch and then they gave me a promotional sleeve here soft sleeves 100 count i don't know just a little plastic sleeve with a header card in there very amazing thank you for watching